Hi, and let's learn some Chinese. I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. As I promised you guys from the last episode, in this episode, we're going to talk about some work-related Chinese. In our last episode, we talked about some graduation-related Chinese. I'll put the links in the comment section. Feel free to check it out if you want. Now, let's get started. The first word is 找工作. 找工作 means to look for jobs. 找 means to look for, to find, to seek. And 工作 means job. 找工作, 找工作, 找工作. Now, if you want to say, I'm looking for jobs, you can say, 我要找工作, 我要找工作. So the key verb here is 要 means I want something. 我要找工作. Now, if 你要找工作, you need to find 你要找全职,兼职, or internship, 实习. So, 全职 means a full-time job. 跟我读全职,全职,全职. Now, part-time job is 兼职, 兼职, 兼职. If you are a student, it's very likely you are looking for some 实习, 实习, means an internship. 好,我们再来说一遍,我要找实习,我要找兼职,我要找全职. So say you are very lucky, you've got yourself an interview. Now you're at the reception, so you want to tell them that you're here for the interview. So you can say, 我是来应聘的, 我是来应聘的, or 我是来面试的, 我是来面试的. Now here you can see a structure, 是什么什么的. Now this structure is used to emphasize something. For example, you came to China three years ago, you can say, 我是... 三年前来中国的 So you are emphasizing a certain fact You put it in between 是什么什么的 So 我是来应聘的 我是来面试的 I'm emphasizing I'm here for the interview Okay So you are in the interview already So you're going to tell them your name 我是谁谁谁 Or 我叫某某某 So my name is blah 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 And then you can say 我是什么什么大学毕业的 you put to your university right here. So, for example, 我是Peking University 毕业的. 我是Oxford University 毕业的. So you put to your university right there. Moving on, you're going to talk about your major. You can say, 我的专业是, my major is. 我的专业是, my major is. And then you can say, 我是学某某某专业的. See? I just put 是什么什么的, the sentence structure, once again, emphasizing. Say your major is English and they are hiring English teachers, so you can emphasize the part that there is actually a match. You can say 我是学英语专业的, 我是学英语专业的. There is a subtlety here, but it really doesn't matter. You could just use the very simple sentence structure and say 我的专业是, like my major is. Now, you can also say 我擅长, like I'm good at something, 我擅长. Here, for you guys, you can say 我擅长说中文, or another way you can say 我中文很好, 我中文很好, I speak great Chinese, I speak great Chinese. Now, the next keyword is 工作经验, 工作经验, 工作, yes, work, job, 经验, 经验 means experience. You might need to tell them how many years of working experience have you got, right? So you can say, 我有, I have, 多少年, how many years? 年 means years. 多少年, 的, 的 means here means belonging, okay? So 多少年 is used to modify this working experience, okay? So 我有多少年的工作经验, so say I have 10 years of working experience. 我有十年的 工作经验, now, besides that, you can also say the working experience you have related to certain fields. Say, 我有什么什么相关的工作经验. Now, here the 相关的 means related. Now, a lot of the HRs like to ask you about your career plans for the future. Now, that's a very tough question to answer on the spot. So, you'd better prepare for it. Thus, I'm introducing to you about the career plans, 职业规划 or 职业计划. Now, you can choose either way to uh, say, so either way is fine. The more formal way would be 职业规划. 好,跟我读,职业规划, 职业规划. So they might ask you, oh, what's your plan for the future? 你未来的 
职业规划是什么？你未来的职业规划是什么 ？And you could just say, 我的职业规划是我的职业规划是 blah 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 blah. You can also, of course, throw the word future there. 我未来的职业规划是什么什么。So the last two words before we go are pros and cons. So 优点 and 缺点 So sometimes they ask you, "Oh, 你的优缺点是什么 So what are the good sides and the bad sides about you as a person? So these are the other questions that you can prepare. 我的优点是我的优点是 So the good side of me is blah blah blah. 我的缺点是缺点是 So the part that I'm not doing so terrifically are blah blah blah. 我的优点我的缺点 Now, 优 means good, 缺 means lack, 点 means point, 优缺点优缺点 When you wrapped up this interview, of course you need to thank them and hopefully to hear some positive news very soon. So you would say, 谢谢您给我面试的机会，期待您的回复。您 here is a formal and respectful way to address the other party. 谢谢您给我面试的机会。Thank you for the opportunity you offered for this interview. 期待您的回复 I'm looking forward to your reply. 期待您的回复 That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoy watching. And as always, if you like this video, feel free to share. I'll see you next time.